And this is where the law never stepped in to protect black homeowners. And so you, if you were going to buy a home to invest, you didn't just have to worry about getting enough you know, money for the mortgage. You also had to worry about the white mob that was going to come. And you even think about um, Ida B. Wells, who was inspired to, and I say inspired in a way that motivated to go out and talk about lynchings after her friends who had a grocery store that white people would come to because it was so good. The white grocer being angry came in, tried to kill him. He shot one of them and then they lynched and there was no recourse. No one went to jail. And that seems to be the story on the heels as we fast forward to last summer and the summer of Freddie Gray and the summer of Mike Brown. All they were concerned about is black people burning down a CVS or black people looting their own communities. They care about property. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, they want to come mm -hmm, in and, and law and order that, mm -hmm. but all of these communities that were decimated, they never did. So they don't care about property. They only mm -hmm. care about white property. 